Police in Mexico have arrested a member of a criminal gang accused of killing 43 students in Iguala in September. Felipe Rodriguez ordered Guerrero's Unidas gang members to burn the bodies and clothing of the victims to hide evidence of the killings. Prosecutors say the students were detained by police after a protest and handed over to the gang. Their disappearance sparked weeks of across Mexico protests against corruption and violence. Felipe Rodriguez, known as El Cepelo, or The Brush, was arrested on Thursday night in the city of Judpec, some 90 kilometers, 55 miles, south of Mexico City. He was the gang member who ordered the bodies and clothes of the victims to be burned in a nearby rubbish dump and thrown into a local stream, Attorney General Jesus Murillo Caram said in November. Mayor ordered killings. His intent was to destroy all evidence of the murders, said Mr. Murillo Caram. More than 90 people, most of them local police in southwestern Guerrero State, have been detained so far in connection with the case. Members of the gang confessed to killing the 43 and burned their bodies after they were told the students belonged to a rival gang. But the remains of only one student, Alexander Mora, have been identified so far, after being taken for DNA tests at a forensic center in Austria. He was in his first year of studies at the Rural Teacher Training College in Ayatzinapa, a college with a tradition of left-wing political activism. Alexander Mora was part of a group of students who traveled to nearby Iguala on September 26 and, as part of a protest, commandeered a number of buses. On their way back to their college the students were intercepted by police allegedly on the orders of the local mayor, who wanted to prevent them from disrupting a speech his wife was giving at a public event that evening. Federal investigators blamed Iguala Mayor José Luis Abarca and his wife, Maria de Los Angeles Pineda for ordering local police to hand the students over to members of the Guerrero's Unidas gang. Relatives of the 42 missing students say they will not give up hope of finding them alive until forensic evidence proves they are dead. They want the authorities to open an investigation into the role of the Mexican army in the disappearance.